Hi, everybody. Today we're going to talk about giraffes, the tallest tallest animals alive today, and hopefully, and hopefully familiar to all of us from our early childhoods. So what do we, we know about giraffes? That they're tall, they're spotted. Live in Africa and eat grass and whatnot. They're often sick and they're in love with a hippo. A giraffe has a neck is about 2 meters long and maybe even longer than that. Maybe, but I don't think that's all the information about the tallest living walking spotted African tower that just needs to be explored right now. Today and right now. Let's go. Wikipedia tells us that the giraffe is a mammal of the parsnip family. Of the giraffe family. It is the tallest terrestrial animal on the planet. That giraffes are not all are the same and can differ in spots and patterns, and also where they live on the African continent. Scientists had thought for a while, maybe a long time. Scientists have identified subspecies that include the Angolan giraffe, Cordofan giraffe, Tornicroft's giraffe, West African, Maasai, Nubian, Mesh, Ugandan, and South African giraffe. There's also a distant or nearby a cousin of the giraffe or maybe, if you look closely, and a zebra called the okapi, which also lives next door in Africa. You don't get to choose your relatives, and neither do neighbors, but I think that's that's another story, but we're moving on. The male giraffe reaches a height of 6 meters, and weighs up to a ton. Just think of a stilt that's tall it's also heavy. Each giraffe's pattern of spots is as individual as a person's fingerprints. On their heads, giraffes of both sexes have with their horns thickened at the ends and covered in wool, and their beautiful black eyes are fringed with thick eyelashes. These magnificent and graceful animals have very good eyesight, hearing, and sense of smell, which allows them to spot danger in advance. A good view of the terrain is facilitated, of course, and their tall stature. Interestingly, that the giraffe's long neck, which allows it to reach leaves from the tallest trees however, like all mammals, including our brother including our brother man, has only seven cervical vertebrae, but each of them is up to 25 centimeters long. Giraffes are exclusively herbivores. Animals. Their body structure and physiology allow them giraffes can feed on the foliage of tree crowns at high altitudes, where they have no competition. Of the trees, the giraffe prefer the acacia tree. Especially when there's nothing else is all they've got. And maple would probably like it more, and cherry and poplar, but no Africa sava what can be their maple's only acacia. In addition to its long neck, the giraffe also has an unusually 45 centimeters long tongue, which combined with its mobile lips to grip the leaves and shoots and plucking them from thorny branches. The need for fluids is mainly covered by food, through food, so the giraffe can go without drinking for weeks. But if it does it can drink up to 40 liters of water at a time. Up to 40 liters of water at a time. When it does drink, it has to spread its front legs wide enough to get its head down its head low enough. In this posture, being is especially vulnerable to predators. So it only starts to drink when it's when he's convinced he's not in danger. Convinced he's armed, he's armed, he can drink. Moving on to the legs. The legs of giraffes are also very long and strong, with a stride that's 6 to 8 meters long. And they can run at speeds of up to 60 kilometers per hour. But the giraffe's high stature also poses a fair number of problems. For example, in order to the blood supply to the brain, which is three and a half three and a half meters above the heart. So the giraffe has a very big, strong heart. It's a very big and strong heart, it weighs 12 kilograms, it's 60 centimeters long. 60 centimeters long and 6 centimeters thick and it can pump 60 L of blood per minute and generates a pressure of 340 to 230 mm Hg. Hg and no hypertension. People stand on the sidelines. On the sidelines with their 120 to 80 and that's if they're lucky. Meanwhile, not having to worry about their blood pressure, giraffes live on their own or in small herds, not really attached to each other. The terrain that they roam around in search of food, can cover up to 100 square kilometers. It's not uncommon for giraffes to travel with herds of antelope or zebra, as this gives them greater security. When two adult males encounter each other, 
a ritual match in which the two males they stand next to each other and try to and try to bash their heads against each other's necks. During mating seasons. Mating season, bouts between males are more aggressive. Aggressive and can reach the point desperation that one of the competitors can end up being beaten, in quotation marks, to the point of losing unconscious. This is no joke giraffes are like that. Pregnancy in a female giraffe lasts over 14 months, and only one giraffe baby is ever born. A baby giraffe, at birth, the newborn is almost 2 meters tall and weighing about 50 kilos, without any without any harm to itself, as scientists say. From a height of 2 meters. Paratroopers are our everything. And not everyone is a scientist who jumps, not as as a baby, but as an adult husband from such heights. The mother immediately licks the baby, and in 10 minutes 10 minutes later, he's already raising his head. Another it takes 45 minutes to get on its feet, and in a few hours later, the giraffe starts to run. The first few days it usually spends in a clearing amongst the amongst the bushes, where the play of light and shade he's perfectly camouflaged by his spotted coloration. After after a while, the mother and her cub join with her congeners. In the first months of life, the cubs often in groups, called nurseries, and play together together while their mothers graze nearby. Because of its size, the giraffe has few natural enemies, and from the few predators that dare to attack it, it defends itself defends itself quite effectively with hoof beats. Such a a hoof strike can crush the skull of any predator. Perhaps only a pack of hungry lionesses to overpower such a tall machine, which they do from time to time. They do from time to time, but it's extremely dangerous for hungry cats, but you're always hungry, and they're always hungry. But the fact that a giraffe, with its powerful a giraffe's hoof can kill a large predator, even even a stray lion, is a fact, as they say. Don't stand under an arrow, and don't flick it. Also, of all mammals, giraffes have one of of all mammals, giraffes have one of the lowest needs for sleep. Minutes to two hours a day, and on average, giraffes sleep two hours a day, because there's no time to sleep. To be superior in order not to lose the upper hand. It's also widely believed that giraffes are voiceless animals. But that's what they thought. Up until a certain point when man invented all sorts of measuring devices. And in fact, they communicate with each other at frequencies below 20 Hz, that are indistinguishable to the human ear. So there's something the giraffes aren't telling us, and they have their own conversations between them, and eavesdropping, as they say, is not good. Don't forget to like and share this video with your friends, it helps a lot to promote.